Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now let's read this word of God. This word of God is Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Let's read. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The righteous run into it and are safe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Though it's a very small sentence, there are lots of meaning in it. The name of the Lord means is not only the name Jesus. The name of the Lord means is the character of God. The name of the Lord means character of God. Which are the name of God? That is what we were praying now. God is Jesus is merciful, compassionate, forgiving, loving, and He is the leader, He is the shepherd, He is the anointed one, He is the healer. All these are the name of the Lord. Therefore, all those who are in struggle, confusion, tension, fear, sickness, for you, the Lord is there. And He is the strong tower. That is why the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is not just the name, it is the character of God, the different characteristics of God. That is called the name of the Lord. And therefore, is a strong tower. And he said tower, tower means a place, maybe a, a kind of a, a small area of place where you can hide. When we speak about strong tower, is not only in the Bible, it doesn't mean just a small tower, but it is a city. Because in the Bible, there is a situation, there is a permission God has given. Suppose if you by mistake commit a sin, maybe a murder, a terrible murder you happen to commit by mistake, not knowing. But if you commit a murder, all the others will come and kill you back or uh, they take revenge. Maybe the family members of the victim, they will come and attack you. Maybe the, the opposite family will come or maybe someone else. Or the friends of the man who is killed will come. If you happen to kill somebody by mistake, unknowingly, if you do some mistake, terrible mistake, not only about murder or any other mistake, any other sin you commit unknowingly, then God has kept some cities. It is called refuge, city of refuge. It is called city of refuge. There are so many cities of refuge in Israel. Anybody who is in trouble, they can go to that city. Once they are inside the city, nobody can, can come and catch them. No one is allowed. If someone goes inside the city of refuge and catch them or punish them, then they will be punished. So this is called city of refuge. So the best way, the moment you commit a terrible sin by mistake, unknowingly, you can escape there and run into that city of refuge and then you are protected. That is the system. Let's read this passage. It is written in the uh, Numbers chapter 35 verse 9 onwards. Numbers chapter 35 verse 9 onwards. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the Israelites. Speak, speak to the Israelites. And say to them, And say to them, When you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, When you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall select cities to be select uh, to be cities of refuge for you. Then, then you, you shall, shall select cities to be cities, cities of refuge, refuge for you. So that, so that a slayer, a slayer who kills a person, who kills a person without intent, without intent, may flee there. May flee there. Verse twelve. The city shall be for you a refuge from the avenger. The city shall be for you a refuge from the avenger. So that the slayer may not die until there is a trial before the congregation. So that the slayer may not die until there is a trial before the congregation. So this is for the safety of the man who committed a crime without intending it. God has created some cities of refuge in Israel. And let's read verse 13. Continue reading verse 13. The cities that you designate shall be six cities of refuge for you. And 14. You shall designate three cities beyond the Jordan and three cities in the land of Canaan to be cities of refuge. Because anybody who commit this mistake should have easy accessible to the nearby cities otherwise if there is a long way to go to a lonely city which is far then the enemies come and kill them 
so that is why god said made sure that they are able to reach the cities of refuge easily that is why six cities three out other side three this side and verse 15 these six cities shall serve as refuge for the israelites for the resident or transient alien among them so that anyone who kills a person without intent may flee there praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord so this is a secret and now let's read um uh, psalm 1810 psalm 1810 the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and are safe praise the lord praise the, the lord. one who by mistake commits sin the one who commits sin by mistake not knowingly not willingly but because of their weakness because of because of their shortcomings they fall into sin you know my dear brothers and sisters most of you are joining in this live streaming i'm un, i'm sure that you are committing sin not knowingly not willingly you don't want to commit sin you don't want to hurt anyone you don't want to keep unforgiveness and hatred and you don't want to fall into unholiness and wrong things but because of the weaknesses you fall into sin that is they are called the righteous they are ready to god is ready to help you to be righteous you run into it run into where run into this city of refuge which is the city of refuge here the name of the lord praise the lord